What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough, the birthday edition. Yes, guys, episode 10 is right here, the last one of the 10 episodes that I have offered up for my birthday. And if you guys are wondering, newer subscribers, yes, it's Draven's Dirty 30. I'm officially an old man. Yeah, I'm officially an old man, so... Yep, yeah, gotta think of uh, new things, adulting and all that crud. So, anywho, here we are in the Parfum Palace. In the last episode, we took care of every single battle before we got here. And now, we're just gonna go right on ahead in this gate right here. Wasn't it open? Oh, look at that. And homie here is gonna be like... He's, he's got a monocle. The entrance fee will be a thousand per person. The hell? You've got to be kidding. It costs money to go inside? You see... The owner of this palace follows the school of thought that you are, you can never have too much money. Really? Yeesh. This is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee. Oh wow, she's well, she's a little mad. The proceeds from the uh, the entrance fee will help pay for repairing and restoring this palace. Probably. <laughs> We're getting scammed. We are getting scammed. And I do like the. Uh, Serpentera or whatever the thing is right there. Look at that. Got inside already. Okay, so in this episode right here, guys, not a lot of battles. Just me rambling about how it's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. <laughs> Just playing, guys. This is the. Uh, I would say it's an appropriate uh, episode to finish this whole thing off right here. Now, as you can see, there's this guy. He's like, where is it? Where could it be? The hell? My Furfrow! My beloved little Furfrow has disappeared. Oh, okay. It disappeared? Hey, Sensei! We should, uh, we should help, uh, help look. I mean, if my, if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. Yeah, that is true. That is very, 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 very true. Me too, I guess. Well, let's go ahead and see what this guy's all about. Uh, my beloved little Furfrau has disappeared. Oh, well, I guess. Whatever. I do love the statue of the melodic and all that stuff. Uh, so, what we're going to be doing here, guys, is just... We're just going to be exploring some places. I believe this is the main entrance to the uh, outside floor. But we're going to be going through rooms, getting some items and all that stuff. I believe there's, like, maybe two items or so. Uh, let's see. Room used to be your serving room. Now we can battle. Okay, well, that's cool. Very nice palace and all that stuff. Anywho, guys, I would I want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes. I really do appreciate it. Um, I don't know, like I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm turning 30. Well, I turned 30, and it's just another it's just another year of living and all that stuff. So glad to see 30. Uh, so glad that you know I'm continuing to do the things that I love doing, such as you know, coach, personal train do some Pokemon, graphic design, all that fun stuff. So glad. And yeah, I get it. It is a, during a pandemic, I'm pretty sure many of you guys have had a birthday in a pandemic so far, and there really isn't a lot to do. But for me, believe it or not, guys, I'm just, I'm very simple when it comes to my birthday. I like to do things that I love doing. Part of that is doing some Pokemon videos, uh, working out, Hell, spending the time with the people I love. And let me grab this right here. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves an amulet coin, which many of you guys already know, can be used to actually double your money, your prize money afterwards. Let's see. Heritage for Midian Tome once existed. It contained a secret to bringing Pokemon back to life. It's really just a rumor, though. We've certainly got nothing of the sort in our library. Oh, okay. But yes, guys. I... I... You know... I like doing what I love doing. I love spending time, or spending my birthday with the people I care about, including my family, my mom and dad, and all that stuff. Uh, fun fact, or not so fun fact, or whatever. Uh, yeah, my folks have been divorced for quite some time, and all that stuff. And usually, on my birthdays, I like to bring them both together with me, have dinner, and all that stuff, both with my families. Because I know for a fact that, like, outside this world right here, a lot like a, you may have a lot of divorcee families and all that stuff and they may never get along or anything like that but luckily for me my family or my mom and dad finally learned how to like get along and all that stuff and the one thing I love doing 
is bringing them together on my birthday because not so many people can uh, not so many people can say they can do that and all that stuff. Hell, some people out there might not even have a father or a mother. I'm glad that I have both. The only thing is, they're not together, which you know it's fine by me. And god dang it with the lagginess. It's finally lagging. It's been doing me uh, such great justice right here. Anywho, um, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, yeah, this is the new this is a new laptop right here for my computer for my walkthrough and all that stuff. And first ten episodes on this laptop happen to be with Pokemon X. That's why you guys haven't gotten a lot of lagginess like it was in Pokemon Ulraz and all that stuff. And, well, we're going to be going out to the outside right here. And look at this right here, guys. Oh, my God. It is a beaut. Look at that. Look at that. And right when we get out right here, I'll have a look in the back. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Now, there's quite a few things that you can actually find right here. You can't skate. You'll find statues. But you'll also find some TMs, HMs, or something, something of the sort. And this guy right here is like, Folks with the book bags can use the move cut to chop down trees and prickly thorns. There's an HM cut, to, uh, cut uh, HM for cut somewhere in the garden. You can take it if you'd like. Okay, so he gave us permission right there, and it's probably this. Look at that. Got ourselves the HM01 cut. Nice. Anywho, uh, like I was saying, guys. Yeah, uh, got myself a new le like few things okay few things that I like to do on my birthday uh, I've already mentioned spend the time with the people I love and I'm a very 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 frugal person when it comes to like my money and things that I earn and all that stuff but when it comes to my birthday I usually like to spend or save up money and buy myself maybe one or two things that I probably need or you know probably probably wanted for quite some time me, I I know that I've had so many laptops in the past, but I got myself a very, very good one for just video making and all that stuff. That's why this game has been, you know, going so well. I heard that I heard an ancient king made rules about when to view his garden. Didn't he have anything better to do than make rules about? I don't know. But yeah, like I said guys, I bought myself a new laptop and well not only that, I got myself a Nintendo Switch, so that's a nice amount of money that I actually saved up just so, you know, I can make my channel a little bit better. Uh, what else do I like to do on my birthday? Oh, I like to eat. A lot. That's where the diet goes out, guys, and BAM! I become Kobayashi, just destroying everything in sight. And let's see, I've always wanted to be the princess, but I've given up on that dream. I would get lost here and, uh, all the time. Not really. So anywho guys, comment down below, tell me what you guys like to do for your birthday. Do you guys like to hang out with people? Uh, do you guys want, do you guys like to uh, party, go out on a trip, whatever? Just comment down below guys, make a conversation of it. Just told you what I like to do. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually trying to look for another item right here that's next to the flowers. And this one right here is, it's a statue of Zekrom, the Pokemon that assists those who seek make a deal world. Huh. And let's see, where else, where else? Oh, there you are. Okay, so we found ourselves a guard spec. Uh, that, that should be nice. Very, very nice. And then, let's see. There's nothing else. Okay, so let's see. What if we talk to this lady? Perfect Fellas is a palace among palaces. You could say it's the king of palaces. The premier palace. A lot of palaces that you're saying. Now, if you go right here, you're going to be finding the fur frau. And he's like, woof. Oh, it's a wild child right there. Please don't run away! Sensei, give me a hand! Hmm. That path over there leads to the dead end. Let's speed up and chase Furfro and corner it there. And I'll keep it from getting away, so pick a spot for me to stand. Somewhere like that? Or that? Let me know when you've decided where I should stand. The two of us should work together. We can solve this puzzle to catch Furfro. Okay, alrighty. Let's see... Huh. She's gotta stand right here. It's obvious, yeah. Stand right here. And, well... Chase it over. And... Hey, Sensei! Are we close to cornering it? Maybe better if you wait it over there. Yes, you should. So stand right here. Okay, so we gotta just like, you know... Hey, yes. Follow me. 
And if you stand right here. God dang it. I'm trying to like click it. Okay, so where should I wait? Right here. Yes. And, uh, well, we're going to be cornering this fur frown pretty quickly right here. Look at that. That's right. Just like real dogs. They just like energetic and all that stuff. Whew. Well done. We finally caught it. Sensei, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. And homeboy here is going to be like, Oh, my dear Furfrau, my beloved Furfrau. Could you be the uh, the two responsible for my wonderful, my, 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 my Wonderfrau re reunion with my dear Furfrau? <laughs> how Wonderfrau, indeed, it, it's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put a show, boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for a tiny bit of trouble you went to. Let's see. Rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? A rendezvous? You reached the balcony from the hall uh, with mirrors on the second floor. Oh, well, look at that. Maybe for Frau would have been better off if you hadn't found it. <laughs> if I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to have a trainer like that. But I really love fireworks. So let's go. Let's make the best of it. Okay, so we're going to be heading back to uh, the palace right here to check out some fireworks and all that stuff. And then to end this whole episode with a bang. You know, trying to capture another Pokemon. Not for our team, but, you know, just for the collection and all that stuff. And look at that. Another Pokemon that we love. So, let's go back into the palace. Look at that. It's a nice view and everything. And, uh, well... Let's go straight upstairs. And take care of this business right here. This business. Alrighty. Look at that. Right here. And, bam. Look at this. We're going straight into the hallway. Now, usually I like to do this at night. But, since I have no energy at night... Probably should do it in the daytime, because you know what? I guess we're going to be seeing some fireworks. How in the hell did you get here so quickly? She's quick. Hmm. Oh, damn. Um, you know, I've never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Oh, damn. We've got some special moment right here. And the mother loving thing is going on right now. We haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because I watched them with you, Draven. Oh, damn! Look at that. Fireworks in the daytime? Damn! Look at that. Wow, you can actually see them. <laughs> Damn, fireworks. Okay. Wow! That was amazing! I'll never forget this, so I'll keep memory in the album of my heart. And that was my Wonderfrau fireworks show for my Furfrau. The hell? I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh! I almost forgot. The Pokey Flute. That's right, we need the flute to wake up Snorlax. Sigh. The Poke flu, huh? Go get it. Oh damn, he's rich in hell. It was a, she a Chevenel Castle treasure, but I took it as payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. Wow. Rich much? Give it to them. Oh damn. Okay, so here's the Poke flu, and look at that. We got ourselves a Poke flu right there. Listen, well, you two. Always return to borrow, or uh, what you borrow, that's very important. Oh, so we're borrowing it. I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try and forget about him. You can't imagine how stressful running this place for, is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on the subject in the Palace Library. It had something to do with the... Uh, huh? what you now call the trainer holding a mysterious stone high stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. Hmm. Oh, look at that. TM17 protect. Awesome. 
protect blocks opposing a Pokemon's moves, but if you use it many times in a row, the chances of it uh, working incre increase. Uh, if you will excuse me, I shall take my leave. Okay, alrighty. The owner of the Shabinok Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flute back to wake up uh, Snorlax. Okay. So, we're going to be ending this episode right here, guys, with the capturing of Snorlax. So, let's go right on ahead and do that because, you know, the birthday the birthday episode will conclude with that right here. So, let's just run and run and run. Oh, wait, that's the wrong side. And run. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Right here. Melodic. Okay, so we completed all that stuff. And now... Let's just skate back forward. Don't need to be back here ever again, I guess. I don't even know. And wrong place. Almost ran into that. Okay, so let's get let's get it going again. Polite lane, route six. And look at that. Us skating and all that stuff too. And here we are, route seven. Before I do anything, I'm going to save this game because. I kind of don't want to mess up on that uh, Snorlax. So well, let's see. Alright, Aaliyah is right there. It does have Thunder Wave. So I could do something about that. Let's go with the potion just to be uh, super sure about that. And well, let's go. Look at that. The skating style right here of Driven Corbone. Oh, damn. Oh, it's you two! Did you actually manage to borrow the Poke Flute? Yes! And... Uh, thanks! Well, you're the only one who can play it, right? Snorlax can, get, can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. I'll play the flute now, but are you ready to stop it? Yes! Feels nice to have the flute back in my hands? Okay, I guess I'll start playing. Snorlax opened its eyes, and bam. Okay, so here it is, guys. A wild Snorlax has appeared, and uh, yes. Let's go, Aaliyah. Okay, we're going to paralyze this Pokemon. We're going to make sure this Pokemon gets captured. We do have an Ultra Ball, so that will give us a better chance to capture this guy. And here comes with his Defense Curl. Damn. Okay, so here we go. Let's go with a thunder shock right here. Thunder shock. For the win. Oh crap! It wasn't for the win. And here comes a very, very physical Pokemon, already paralyzed and all that stuff. And here we go again. Another thunder shock. And of course we're lagging just a tad bit. I don't know why. So here we go. Thunder shock. And oh crap! Eating a citrus berry. And it heals up just a little bit, but it's paralyzed. That's great. There we go. A thunder shock. And well, we gotta we gotta hit it one more time. We have to. And if we go with the physical attack, it would work for us because it did do two defense curls right there. So there you go, defense curl. Oh crap, here it goes with the lift. And thankfully that did not paralyze us. So let's go one more time with a quick attack. And there you go. Okay, so it is ready for uh, capturing right here. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's throw the Ultra Ball. Alrighty, let's go. Ultra Ball, go. God dang it! Okay, so now this Pokemon's making us work for this. Okay, so let's go again. We got plenty of great balls, don't worry. Our balls are great, so leave me the heck alone, Snorlax. Here we go. Come on. Okay, so you're really you're really trying to make me very, very angry. You're trying to ruin my birthday. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Here we go. Great ball. Go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Motherfucker. Okay. Another amnesia, so 
technically it's special defense is just rising every single time. This would have given us the, um, the ability to just like weaken it a bit more, but since it's already on the red and paralyzed and all that stuff, this could work. And this guy's not budging, not one bit. Don't remember this Pokemon being this hard to capture. Come on! Stay in the friggin' ball! Come on! God dang it! Uh, why are you being such an a-hole? Snorlax, you! Come on! Come on! God dang it! Yeah, okay, so it, it really it really is like not budging right now. Come on! Pokeball, Pokeball, come on! Stay in there! Stay in there! Damn it! Uh, Okay. I have the freaking tiger. I have the freaking tiger. Come on. Stay in the ball. One, two. God dang it! Ah, uh, Jesus. Okay, so it made my Aaliyah faint. God dang it. Alright, let's go to a stronger Pokemon right here. Let's go with the uh, Kagashi Hitake. Alrighty. Alright. We can do this. We only had timer balls. Okay, here we go. Come on! Stay in the friggin' Pokeball. One, two, three. Stay in there! Yes! <laughs> Suck it, Snorlax. Okay, so there we go. We captured ourselves another Snorlax. At the expense of my Aaliyah. And look at that. Going into the Pokedex. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. Six foot eleven, one thousand fourteen pounds of pure muscle and blubber. It's not satisfied unless it eats over eight hundred pounds of food every day. When it, when it's done eating, it goes promptly back to sleep. Okay. And yes, I will nickname this Pokemon. I am not going to be using it on the team though. So let's go ahead and give it a good nickname. A very, 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 very good nickname. Here we go. Tank number three. That's right, guys. Capturing Pokemon left and right. We're going to be naming them after their namesakes and all that stuff. Tank, tank, tank. And there we go. Tank three. Okay. So that is that. Awesome, you caught the Snorlax. Wow. The hell? And here we have this guy. Oh. The Poke Flute, or the only thing I could do with that Poke Flute is put it on display. But, you were, but you've uh, been playing uh, since you were little, and the tone was lovely. It seems like my Furfrau also likes the sound of that flute. Not as much as I, it, looks, it likes my beautiful Wonderfrau fireworks, of course. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded a little better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. Wow, he's a smug asshole. Never mind. Okay. Was that supposed to be an attempt to patch things up? Well, whatever. All well that ends well. I wonder what lies past here. Snorlax was sleeping. Okay, so last thing that I'm going to be doing here because this is mainly for this is mainly for capturing Pokemon purposes, off screen and all that stuff. We're going to go right here, guys. We're going to be stalked by these guys. Oh, hey, Sensei! Trevs said that he wants to check out the Pokemon Daycare. Come with us! And, well, as you can see, this is the Pokemon Daycare. This is the Daycare. <laughs> they they take care of Pokemon for you here. Yes, indeed! You can leave up to two Pokemon here at once. I seem to remember something good can happen if you leave two Pokemon here. That's right! Sometimes you, you will find a new addition like an egg! If you carry the egg around, a Pokemon will emerge from it! Wow! A Pokemon from uh, a Pokemon will come out. Maybe I'll leave some Pokemon here. Having some, having the same Pokemon with the same moves might step up my dance, or whatever. How about you, Sensei? Maybe I will. There are many Pokemon I want to raise. I'll try. I'll try it some other occasion. That's one way to look at it. Well, I'm going to look for some Pokemon to, for my dance team. Alrighty. Hey, wait up, Dierna! Wait up. Okay, so this is the daycare right here. As many of you guys already know, you will be enabled to leave some Pokemon right there. And we're going to finish off right here with one more thing. 
and the, it's this location right here. This is where you can actually find the berries. Hey, mister! This way. This way! You! I know this is an unexpected request, but I need you to take care of my berry field. Berries are great, only bear one berry can produce more berries. I assure you that you'll love field work. Sure, why not? Oh, great! Uh, uh, your name is Draven? Thank you, Draven. Hooray! That's great! Grandpa, I must uh, teach you how to take care of the uh, field right away. Please, follow me, please. Okay. Plant a berry in the soft soil. Check the soil uh, you want to plant a berry in. Choose a berry from your bag. Oh, I know! I should give you some berries to plant. And here we have some Oran berries. And what else? Well, I might as well give you these berries too. And we get ourselves some Pekka Pecha berries or something. And if you find a berry in front of the huge tree, come here and plant it. Once you plant a berry, the next step is watering. Here, take this with you. We got our sprink, uh, sprinkler toad, our sprinkler tad. Check the soil. Uh, check the soil where you planted a berry, and if it's dry, water it. Take good care of it, and make, and you'll get more berries. Well, Draven, please take good care of the field. I'm so relieved. My back has been killing me all day. I just can't garden like I used to. Oh damn. And what else? We live in the house in the corner on the field. Okay, so yeah, this is the berry field. You can plant a buttload of berries and this machine right here actually produces mulch. Put in some berries, get some different kinds of mulches, all that fun stuff. And then here we have a miracle seed which actually powers up any kind of grass type moves. And let's see, is there anything else that we need to grab? New. No. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is pretty much it. Okay, so... It has been a successful birthday bash right here. Birthday episodes and all that stuff. I've uh, completed the stuff that I needed to do. That way, off-screen, I can capture multiple Pokemon. Which is the plan, guys. So, here's the thing. Ten episodes are up. I won't be back on this game until Pokemon Black is co finally completed. And that means the after game and the Elite Four have to be done. So the first 10 episodes right here are for you to watch eventually when I come back. So my Pokemon are going to be leveled up and all that stuff, but I'm going to have some stuff completed off screen such as capturing every Pokemon that I missed from here till Vanderbilt. What else? What else? Maybe breeding some Pokemon and all that stuff. I have lots of plans, but yes guys, it won't be so long until I come back to Pokemon X. So. Please do enjoy the first 10 episodes. Thank you once again, guys, for the birthday uh, the birthday uh, wishes and all that stuff. Dirty 30 has been a success. I will be back in Pokemon X in a few days after we're done with Pokemon Black. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.